Hi guys, what's up? Good morning. So it's 36 o'clock in the morning and I have a class surgery, basic surgery and it's 7 o'clock. So kailangan ko nang gumawa ng breakfast and uminom ng coffee para gumising yung diwa ko. So sabahin niyo ako guys, let's go! you will do the incision. So, iwasan mo yung primit nerve. So, yung primit nerve. So, GCS, Kagan always, which is the highest. If your GCS is 30 to 15, you have an L head injury. If it is 9 to 12, moderate injury. Less than 8, severe injury. So, less than 8, intubation tablet. So, you have also, uh, we can uh, adjust it properly. So, for shock classification, the initial baby is sedation. So, the classic signs are tachypnea, tachypnea, hypotension, other metastatic stereoclesis, and the balance. So, a classic sign. So, table 7 4. Seven dash four signs and symptoms of dancing stage of hemorrhagic shock. So, uh, kailangan niya. Na-memorize niya na ba ito? So, ayan guys. Kakatapos lang ng surgery class. So, ang amin topic is um makalimutan ko na agad. Diba? Saya. Alat ang inaantok pa. So, ang daming topic is general principles and trauma. So, yung mga um, example ng laman ng topic namin is yung mga primary survey, like for example, checking the ABCs, the airway, the breathing, the circulation. Ay, ABC, di ba na siya? Airway, breathing, circulation, disability. Tapos, um, yung mga different kinds of intubation, nasotrical intubation, oriotrical intubation. So, lahat ng mga kailangan mong ma-expect and kailangan mong malaman when you're dealing with trauma. So, yung mga emergency situation, like, ito yung pinaka, ano, sa akin, kasi na-cover na namin siya nung first time, yung, uh, in a, yung mga fluid resuscitation, like, yung mga values na kailangan daw talagang alam namin. So, I think I need to memorize this again. And, I mean, not memorize, parang know it by heart talaga kasi gagamitin pa rin daw namin siya for next sem, which is inter-deer na kapag ka um, specifics na yung mga surgery like orthopedic surgery. Today, ang schedule ko is for the afternoon, I have an exam 12 o'clock for pediatrics. And, ito yung video na wait, papakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, ito yung topic ng shifting namin later sa PETIA. Um, most common concerns in preventive pediatric lecture. So, ito, na-cover na namin siya nung prelim exam, pero kailangan ko siyang ulitin kasi I think 
um, hindi ko na talaga siya gamay because tagal na nung, ay, last week pa yung prelims and um, hindi siya yung pinaka fresh na topic so ito siya ito yung first video is basic well child exam so nakakatawa siya panoorin kasi ang cute ng bata tapos siya yung pedya and then anak lang din yung bata nakakatawa and then this one naman is the basic ado- adolescent kasi di ba syempre sa pediatrics it will involve um, children and yung mga mapunta na sa puberty adolescent stage so ayun later na yan So, I just finished my 30-minute um, workout, cardio workout. So, um, later siguro if may time pa ako, I would do arm workout. Pero as much as possible, at least kahit pa pala nakapag-cardio workout na ako. So, nakapagpapawis na ako and now we'll have a cold shower. Para later, di ba, gising talaga ako ng bongga. So, while I am jogging kanina, I'm watching Bridgerton and last episode ko na. So, ayan guys. So, So, last episode ko na ng Bridgerton. And, ang gusto ko talaga siya. And, I'm, I can't wait to know the ending. And, alam ko may season 2 eh. So, I'm so excited about it. And, i-compare ko siya sa The Crown. in parang Game of Thrones. Pero, wala masyadong patayan. Ganun. Wala talagang patayan pala at all. And, ang ganda ng plot. And, sobrang natuwa ako kasi nalaman ko recently na si Shonda Rhimes din yung naging producer ng series na to. So, I'm a big fan of Grey's Anatomy. So, talagang kitang-kita ko na maganda rin yung naging um, result ng series. So, I can't wait to know the ending. So, mag-shower lang ako guys and then mag-aaral ako for Pedia. So, I'm done with my shower and all, with my skincare and all. So, ngayon nagpe-prepare na ako for my shipping exam in pediatrics. And ang topic would be preventive pediatrics and the resources that they provide us. So, yung resources na provide nila, ito ang papanoorin namin ng mga videos, which is a child wellness exam and adolescence wellness exam. So, ayan, I'm almost done na with the video. So, inuna ko yung adolescent. So, ngayon, hinuli ko na itong sa child. And, napalad ko na rin kasi yung half ng sa child, kaya inuna ko ni adolescent kasi yun talaga yung pinaka- um, fresh start ko palang napapanoorin. So, I hope maging okay naman yung results. And after that, um, may lecture kami sa Pedia ng one, which is ang topic breastfeeding. So, very interesting topic. And after that, after Pedia, um, we're going to proceed with a physical diagnosis lecture. I think ang topic na namin yun is musculoskeletal. So, I'm quite excited because yun nga, um, very familiar ang musculoskeletal system sa akin. And after that, um, tapos na. So hanggang um, 5 o'clock lang kami. And at least, kahit pa paano, uh, more time for me to prepare for my report on Friday. And wala nang pasok sa Thursday. So I hope maging productive pa rin yung araw ko tomorrow. So, yun lang guys. Hi guys, what's up? It's already 6, ay, almost 7 na pala. So hindi ako nakapag-update kanina. So okay naman pala yung pediatric shifting exam ko. So, lahat naman ng mga binasa ko and yung pinanood ko kanina ng mga videos, lumabas naman. May mga iba lang na parang out of nowhere na questions na parang, ay, parang hindi ko ito nabasa. Parang advanced na masyado for the topic. So, mga parang ganun. But, at least, nairaos naman siya. So, that's a good sign. And also, if you're following me sa TikTok, may mga bago akong upload. And... Tonight, di ba sabi ko, gagawa ko ng PowerPoint for the for my report. So, ngayon, naisip ko na rest day ko muna since holiday naman tomorrow. So, bukas ko na lang siya gagawin early in the morning. So, for me to sleep early, so, umiinom ako guys ng melatonin. So, this is not sponsored by the way. And also, um, yun ang gamit ko lang melatonin if I need to fix my sleep schedule. So, I'm not dependent on this. Kaya, Sige, tahol pa. Mm-mm. Kaya hindi ko talaga siya iniinom every night. So, most of the time lang na feeling ko medyo sira yung sleep schedule ko, tsaka ko lang siya ginagamit. So, tonight, I think I'm gonna finish Bridgerton kasi naputol kanina yung Bridgerton ko. 
dahil hindi siya kumabot dun sa span ng exercise ko kaya ngayon ko na siya tatapusin and I hope ma-enjoy ko yung ending kasi um, after Bridgerton I'm planning to watch um, I'm planning to watch The Uncanny and The, the Uncanny Encounter ba yun? The Uncanny Encounter or um, Something in the Rain so dalawang ano dalawang mag-ibang k-drama k-korean um, series so I hope um, may time pa ako manood ng mga series oh. since matagal-tagal pa naman yung midterm sa exam so bukas na lang ulit guys bukas na lang ulit mga vlog thank you Hi guys! Good morning! So, di ko na kayo na-update kasi maga ako nakatulog kagabi kasi nga di ba uminom ko ng melatonin so nakatulog ako agad and um, natapos ko na rin naman na yung aking report for Friday so di ko na rin kayo na-update doon so okay naman na siya so hopefully tomorrow okay naman yung reporting ko hindi man ako mag-isaan to ko doon kasi nabasa ko naman talaga yung Robins so hopefully lahat ng mga questions is galing sa Robins para kahit pa paano may maambag naman ako sa mga tanong nila Doc So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko is ayos din ko na yung schedule ko for next week and para hindi masyadong magulo yung buhay dahil masyadong maraming reporting next week. And also, magsistart na ulit magkaroon ng mga shifting exam na sunod-sunod. So, I hope kaya nin naman siya. So, uh, I need to organize myself now. Let's go! Hello, Doc. Kita na po yung slide. Uh, okay, po. So, good evening, everyone. So, we'll discuss about the tuberculosis in the kidney. To find tuberculosis. So, tuberculosis is a chronic pulmonary or it could either it could also be a systemic disease that is caused by the bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis. So, it is the leading infectious cause of death worldwide and it would uh, mostly affect the lungs and it is transmitted airborne person to person from an active case to a susceptible host. The physiology of the disease. So, um, the mycobacterium tuberculosis would enter the alveolar macrophages through phagocytosis. And it is mediated by several factors or receptors such as the manus binding lectin and the CR3. So, upon entry, the bacteria would inhibit the maturation of the phagosome and would block the formation of the phagolysosome. Hi guys! Oh my gosh! Guys, so am so ako and I'm so tense. Wait, maybe I'm not mute. Yeah. I'm so tense, guys. I don't know what to do. Charo. So, I'll just na lang binasa ko yung Robins like two days before and then one day before. So, sobrang binasa ko yung tuberculosis ng todo-todo. And, syempre, kung baga refresh yun lang siya kasi sa general pathology niya, discuss naman namin yung tuberculosis. So, kung baga, it will just be a review and then, nag-spread lang siya sa specific organ which is like So, ay, nakakatuwa kasi parang nakasasagot ko yung mga questions and sobrang high yield ng iba. And yung iba parang, at least napopoint out yung mga kulang sa PowerPoint ko and then, at least, nakikita ko na talaga kung, oh, oo nga, kulang nga siya. Like, hindi ko nga siya nalagay. So at least, alam ko na yung mga points na kailangan ko improve for the next reporting. Especially kung uh, in the third year, oh, cleaning it. So, ayun guys. So that that will be the last um, last part for this vlog. And thank you for guys, I uh, thank you, thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching this video, ano, this vlog. And I promise you, next week, meron na naman. And I, I, um, I'm, ang goal ko talaga is makapag-weekly vlog. Para talagang kayong mga subscribers ko is mabiyayaan naman ang mga videos na talagang inaporta. Ay, inaporta. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay safe. Um, I hope that you will have a great weekend. Bye!